everyone! So today's tutorial is going to be featuring some Makeup Geek eyeshadows and a couple MAC shadows with this really pretty orangey reddish summertime makeup look. So let's begin. Starting off, I'm priming my eyes with my Rubenesque paint pot. I've also used Too Faced Shadow Insurance underneath that. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to really blend that into my crease. This color is amazing as a transition color and it's one of my favorite transition colors plus this brush works so well. Then I'm going to use the color Frappe and I'm going to use that same brush I used before and just go in also using this as another transition color. Basically I love transition colors. I think they're like the best part of any eye look I'm just saying um, and then I'm gonna go in with a 217 brush from Mac and I'm gonna use the color bitten and I'm gonna put that pretty deep into my crease not really farther up like I did with the transition shades because we want to be able to see those shades but I'm gonna put that more defined in the crease and then I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to blend out all of the colors and then I'm going to go into the color Roulette from Makeup Geek and I'm going to put that on the outer third and the inner third of my eye as I usually do, leaving the center blank. I do this a lot in a lot of looks. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek shade in Glamorous and I'm just going to use my finger for this and I'm just going to plop that right on the center of the eye and then just kind of blend it in with the reddish um, burgundy shade that we put on before and I really like this with my finger this color actually goes on really well with a brush too but just since I was trying to put it in the center of my lid I wanted more um, control with my finger so I'm gonna go in with the color um, sketch and this one's from Mac and I'm just gonna put this in the outer corner of my eye I just wanted a nice deep purple to kind of complement the golds and the reds I think that works really well together um, and then I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend it out and then I'm going to go in with Shima Shima and use my finger. And I actually kind of put way too much on when I started doing this. As you can see, I really just wanted to brighten up the center of the eye. So I had to go back in and fix that with um, some more glamorous. I got way too much on my finger. So if you're going to do that, just don't put so much on your finger. Um, and then I'm using a mixture of Frappe and also um, Bitten under my eye right there. And then I went in with Sketch on an angled brush and I applied that really close to my lashes on my lower lash line. And then I'm highlighting the inner corner of my eye with Shima Shima that we used earlier from Makeup Geek. This is one of the prettiest inner corner highlights I think that Makeup Geek has. And then I'm using another MAC shadow here. This one is Brulee and I'm just using this in my brow bone purely because I don't have a Makeup Geek um, matte shade like this that works really good in the brow bone. Now it's time for my eyeliner and you guys see me do this literally in every single one of my makeup tutorials. I'm using my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. Some people don't like it. I really do love this eyeliner. It's so cheap and it's just amazing in my opinion. Um, if it doesn't work for you, that's great, but it works really well for me and it is my everyday holy grail liner. I've used it for years. And then I'm just using my Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner on my waterline and I really struggle to film this and not tug at my eyes. Um, and then I'm just finishing off the eyes with the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, one of my all-time favorites. This one's actually getting kind of gross. I need to go ahead and order a new one. I'm just really, really slow. Um, for my blush, I went ahead and used Bella Bomba, mostly because it was sitting right next to me and I didn't want to get up and get another blush, but um, just a really nice corally or like a nice ready toned blush that's going to go really well with the eyes is kind of what I was going for. And then I'm just using my Becca Highlight in Champagne Pop, which I forgot to show a close-up of. But one of my all-time favorite highlights, it's the Jaclyn Hill highlight. It's amazing. It's limited edition, so definitely get your hands on it while you can. And then for lips, I don't know why I just left that clip in of me smelling it, but whatever. You guys know I'm weird. Um, I'm using the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Nude. And this is a really pretty one. Like, it's one of my favorite melted lipsticks ever. And it was a little mini, and I love it. And if you keep seeing me look to the side, it's because I was watching How I Met Your Mother while I was filming this. And I've seen it so many times, but I was still distracting myself. So that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will talk to all of you guys in my next video on Friday. Bye, everyone.